Well, welcome back to Espresso with Entrepreneurs. This week we're talking about coffee and cars. Ka-chow. Big news, everybody. We got our first legitimate comments on this uh, last video we put up. So we are excited and we are gonna talk to you because we promised we would. And you know what? Apparently, uh, I think I might be wrong about Google Plus. I don't have a lot of followers, but that's actually where both of these comments took place. So respect to the Google Plus. We're sorry we said that about you in our sorry, coffee giveaway. Google. Sorry, you. Probably will run the earth one day, so we need to go ahead and yield. We'll include it next time, maybe. Yield to your supremacy. Anyway, uh, the first comment came from Ben at Coffee Writes. Writes a blog about coffee and all of its goodness, so thank you for telling us to keep up the good work. We'll definitely try. We'll do our best. We do appreciate that. Thank you for the encouragement. It uh, got us right there. And the second is actually asking for advice. Somebody's asking us for advice. So we don't take that lightly. So we're gonna talk about it. JP Gwynn writes, I need to do a branding video for myself. I'm a sales professional at a small dealership looking to explode into the local community. So we did a little, uh, a little looking on uh, JP's background. He is a salesman at Greg Lair Buick GMC in Amarillo, Texas. So that's pretty cool. We're having an impact all the way in uh, the great state of Texas, the Lone Star State. <clears throat> so, we took a look, and JP, we've got a, a few things we're just gonna, you know, kind of give you. It might help, it might not, but hey, it's free. It's yeah, free. you commented, you interacted with us, so we're gonna reach back to you. I'm gonna give you something. So, you know, what we thought, um, being newbies ourselves, what we've seen the greatest engagement in so far is the videos that we've tried to be humorous in. Uh, humor is a, a good way to kind of make that quick connection where somebody's like, you know what? I like those two guys. Yeah. Because it's hard to get somebody like emotionally because, you know, they may not, it might not jive with them, um, you know. So humor, everyone likes humor to some extent. Yeah. And I think one of the easiest ways is like slapstick because everyone loves slapstick because, you know, sometimes it can be a little too crude for some people. It can be a little too highbrow for other people. They don't yeah. get it. So um, we've got a few, uh, we've, I've actually got one idea in, in specific that I, I kind of think we might do a little uh, little demo for you. So keep an eye out on that, hopefully have it in the next week or two for you. I'm not gonna give too much away because I don't want to uh, take away from the surprise of the piece, but I think it's gonna be good. So keep an eye out. But in the meantime, so humor, we think that is something you wanna kind of play with to your advantage. Um, and, and if somebody's gonna come buy a car from you, that'll, that'll go ahead and lower their guard and say, ah, guy's a funny guy. I'm gonna go ahead and buy a card from him. Yeah. So. We see you're already very uh, engaged on social media, so keep that up. Um, and with the video, I think if we can come up with a good idea for you, I think maybe something like what we're thinking of could be an approach where maybe you get one or two people, you get together, you make a little 30 second video, you put it on YouTube and you might get some hits, kind of go viral. And people might be like, hey, I wanna buy cars from this guy and this guy alone because he's funny and I like humor. So, uh, you know, you got a persona go, and you like the bow tie, go with that. We have a, a weatherman here, and he is known by his bow tie. A little shout out to Joey Sullivan. Yep. And, and uh, I have mad respect for anybody that can pull off a bow tie. It's difficult. Because I don't think I can. Yeah, I don't think so either. But when you can, man. You don't think you can, or you don't think I can? Well, I don't think you can, but I don't think I could either. So, we're in the same boat. Okay. I probably could. No. So, uh... I see you like your carrots, so beta carotene. You got your eyesight. You'll, you'll see the customers coming. Um, what do you think from a coffee man's perspective, Jeremy? What can he do to sell sell some cars? Well, I see on his website that he, you know, posts a lot of, or on his Google Plus, posts a lot of information about the cars. Um, that's good. Um, 
like I've said in my videos, I try to convey a lot of information about my coffee. Um, and if somebody was gonna buy a car, they're definitely gonna want a lot of information. So if you keep presenting that and show yourself as a very knowledgeable car salesman or uh, truck salesman, it looks like you have a lot of pictures of trucks, I think that's gonna do you a lot of good. So, you know, keep doing what you're doing. That's that's good. And along with humor, information is a good, good thing to let people's guard down. If they think you know what you're selling and it looks like you do, that's, that's definitely that's definitely something good for you. Yeah, and I mean, for me, I was surprised. I guess at first I thought that you actually had the dealership, so it's pretty cool you're taking the initiative as the sales guy to be like the sales guy at the dealership. Yeah. So uh, hopefully we can convey something to that um, respect in our video. We'll, we'll try to figure something out, but if nothing else, if you can be the person that people connect to and be like, you know, I saw that guy on YouTube, Facebook, Twitter. We saw you on just about every uh, portion and you can get them to follow you somehow, which is how we think that with a humorous uh, video, you might hook them. Yeah. That, that's how you kind of grab them and then you know get the views going so people have, people in Memphis see your video and then they're sharing it and you know get people in your region to be like, hey, I might even drive an hour to see this guy and buy a car truck from him. So we'll see what we can do for you, if we can come up with some kind of funny. And uh, yeah, just stay tuned. Thank you for watching, we appreciate it. It's cool that we've got a viewer in Amarillo, Texas. So. Pork barbecue is better than beef, though. Oh, so we sorry. might have just lost a viewer uh, in Texas, sorry. but I definitely agree with Alan. But, you know. It's not real barbecue. Friendly rivalry. Yeah. So, um, so what we've just done is evidence that we do actually interact with people that comment with us. So Keep talking to us. Yeah, absolutely. We may not make a whole video for you, but we'll definitely acknowledge it and uh, address it. Yeah. And Get interact. us something to talk about. We appreciate that. Cool. So, uh... I guess I had one thing to say before we left. Uh, oh, it's, I mean, it's no like personal announcement or anything. I'm not expecting oh, anything. Oh, okay. So, okay. Uh, no, uh, we haven't talked about movies in a while. Uh, I just wanted to say, you know what? If you have a Netflix subscription, which if you don't, you should get one because it's like eight bucks a month and there's tons of stuff to watch. <laughs> yeah, definitely worth your money. So, um, it's it's informative and it's really good. It's a documentary series by my documentary filmmaker hero, Morgan Spurlock. Mm -hmm. It's called uh, Inside Man. It's like a CNN series, of like eight, I think it's eight episodes, and he kind of ta tackles um, some kind of controversial topics. Um, but it's really well done, and I'd say it's worth the uh, around eight hours, probably like six hours with commercial breaks, um, but no commercials because it's Netflix. And uh, it's really cool. You learn about a whole bunch of different stuff. Check it out. Nice. And do you uh, have any, anything to? I just started watching Numbers on okay. uh, on Netflix as well. It's a crime drama. I think it ended a couple years ago. It's been pretty good. It's not the greatest show, but it's, you know, it occupies my time and entertains me. So if you're looking for a new series, I like check numbers. it out. I like numbers. My favorite number is 24. Not that kind of numbers. <sighs> oh, no. This is ridiculous this week. Anyway, so thanks for tuning in. Talk to us, subscribe, all the stuff we always say. And until next time. Don't take yourself too seriously. And don't say that too quickly.